Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Carrie, and here on Caring with Carrie, we talk all things kids. On Tuesdays, I like to upload videos that have to do with my pregnancy. I am currently 18 weeks pregnant. I'm out of breath, can you hear me? Out of breath. <laughs> On Saturdays, I like to upload videos that have to do with my nanny kids, what activities we're doing, Montessori, uh, discipline, really just like kind of all things kids in that respect of like educational or nannying, whatever. Let me just start out by saying before I ever met Tyler, I was the girl who had Pinterest boards called future baby, future house, future kids, you know, stuff like that. I was a dreamer. On Pinterest you can dream right it's pretty easy to dream on Pinterest but that kind of translated and trickled over into who I followed on Instagram and I started to become a part of a community of mamas who were just momming you know and I was curious and wanting to learn more about momming about being pregnant what that was like about having kids about parenting I wanted to know all the things and educate myself because I've always loved kids myself and I got a degree working with kids and I've worked with kids in schools and preschools and babysat for hundreds of different families by this point. So even before I met Tyler, I was in this community of moms. And I can honestly say that I have never heard anyone talk about this topic. Now maybe it's just because it's not something that like generally happens. Like maybe a lot of people don't feel this way. It just seems like a taboo thing to talk about because nobody wants to be judged for possibly not loving their pregnancy or loving their baby. So I'm 18 weeks pregnant and the newness of being pregnant has kind of worn off. I don't want to say the excitement has because I'm definitely still excited but I guess the newness the shininess of being pregnant has kind of worn off by now we found out so super early I will link the video here for where we found out because I actually recorded myself and had a live reaction to both me finding out my husband finding out I did a bunch of my family on there and it's like an incredible video I'm so glad I have that footage and I'll forever treasure it moving on so now that the newness has worn off, I'm in this place where I feel like, you know, when you're first pregnant in the first trimester, you are growing slowly, but you're growing in ways that you can actually see. And you're just like, I definitely have a bump now. And it's starting to get harder in certain places and not just soft, squishy fat. So I felt like in the first trimester, a, you don't expect to have a bump, but also B, you do see little changes and you notice them. Well, now I'm in the second trimester. It has felt like I've been the same size since like when we got our last ultrasound, which was like week 13. So I feel like for a whole month, I've kind of not grown. I feel like that anyways. I know I probably have and maybe to others it's more obvious, but to me, I just feel like I have hardly grown at all in my belly and I haven't felt the baby kick yet. Now I know that some people don't feel a kick up until 20 weeks, 22 weeks, even 24 weeks sometimes and I really hope this baby does not wait that long. Um, even when we went to the ultrasound at 13 weeks I had a hard time connecting the fact that what I was seeing on the ultrasound screen was happening inside of me because it's just like you don't feel anything yet and I don't know how else to say it I mean obviously my my head knowledge is like yes that baby it's inside of me but it's really hard for me to actually I guess believe it and like make myself believe it because you don't feel the baby yet you don't feel a whole lot of growth at this point so I just want to know if there are any other mamas out there who have maybe heard of this who have experienced this who maybe know what to do to help with this but i feel like i'm having a hard time bonding with the baby there are times that i find myself you know holding my belly or even rubbing my belly it's almost like i do it subconsciously sometimes as a way to try to bond and i don't know who else to explain that either because a lot of times it is subconscious or when i notice i'm doing it i'm like this feels like i'm just rubbing my fat <laughs> 
<laughs> which I know I'm not, but it just feels like I am. Also in the first trimester, you're dealing with a lot more symptoms. I think that was a bigger deal is because you have the nausea, most, most people do, you have the nausea, you have all these different symptoms that you're like, oh, yep, pregnancy is still happening. Oh, yep, you know, getting discharged, you know, all the things are happening. And you get to the second trimester and things kind of mellow out because your placenta has taken over, which, you know, technically is a good sign because it means that, you know, you're not having those symptoms anymore because things are progressing. And having the ultrasound at 13 weeks, you know, that was only like five weeks ago. So just to kind of talk about the symptoms that I have been having and every symptom that I do have does give me like hope, I guess, and knowing that the baby's okay, that they're growing, all that. I am very blessed in that I haven't had any bleeding in this pregnancy like at all. So I have not had to like be unnecessarily worried. I know that bleeding can be very common in pregnancies, but also, you know, it could be a sign of something else. So, that being said, like, I just know myself and I know I would worry if I did have any kind of bleeding. My symptoms are also things that technically, if I wasn't pregnant, could be excused away. Except for a symptom maybe that happened yesterday that I'll talk about in a second. Some symptoms that have carried over from the first trimester are things like I'm still waking up in the middle of the night for some reason. Lately, it's been, instead of a few times a night, lately it's been just kind of like once towards the morning hours, like very early morning hours. Like the past, I would say maybe month, month and a half, I've been waking up sweating. We actually turned down the AC in our house to 65 and make sure that the fan is on versus auto and I still wake up sweating. Like, it's ridiculous. I only sleep with a light comforter and my pregnancy pillow. And I don't know if that pregnancy pillow just, like, really traps the heat in or what. Uh, the reason that I wake up, though, several times in the night sometimes is uh, my subconscious wakes me up for sleeping on my back because I know I'm not supposed to be sleeping on my back at this point. You know, some uh, apps or whatever recommended it starting at, like, 15 weeks that you shouldn't do it. But I definitely saw it this week too, like, hey, you for sure should not be sleeping on your back anymore. And the pregnancy pillow does kind of help with that. But I'm so short that like the type of pregnancy pillow that was given to me is a C shape. And I'm so short that I kind of fit perfectly in the little nest part of it. <laughs> and sometimes I just roll onto my back. And a lot of times when you're having a lot of back pain throughout the day, like you just, it feels great to be laying on your back. So anytime I... Do you find myself laying on my back I quickly <laughs> roll over and hopefully that will like become a thing that's easier to do when I have more weight holding me down towards one side or the other. Does that make sense? Is that like a thing? If you've been pregnant before comment below let me know when your belly in the third trimester is super big heavy all that is it easier for you to sleep on your side like do you, or do you find yourself still waking up is sleeping on your back I'm just curious the pregnancy brain is real y'all so I have an hour commute and today I actually had to get groceries so it was even longer and as soon as I got home I had to go to the bathroom and I completely forgot that I had groceries in my trunk and some of them were like perishable thankfully they didn't sit in there too long they all seem to be cold still thankfully but stuff like that like happens to me all the time now I will just completely forget about the craziest things. Like things I have never would have forgotten about before. And I've heard it doesn't go away when you are not pregnant anymore and you're a mom because mom brain is also a real thing. Yay. <laughs> um, so yesterday I experienced for the first time what I believe was lightning crotch. And it's like a sudden, very sharp shooting pain in that area and i heard it's it can be this early it's rare for it to happen at 18 weeks i think normally it happens towards the end of third trimester but what i read is that that happens when baby's head is down there so it must have gotten really low for some reason it <laughs> kicked its way down there and uh been pressing up on my cervix or something but that was painful and crazy to experience because ironically enough I had just watched a video from a woman who was in her third trimester 
and she was talking about lightning crotch and it was just so ironic like and I know that's what it was it's something I never felt before and it fit the description exactly so I'm pretty sure that's what it was the one thing that does kind of like I guess not worry me or concern me but like makes me wonder is at my 13 week appointment they did think that the placenta was sitting very low and it's possibly placenta previa which is where the placenta is kind of covering the cervix i know that nine times out of ten it resolves on its own at the end of the third trimester so even if they tell me at this next ultrasound that they see that i'm not going to be too worried about it but it does pose a risk and would mean a c-section for me which is definitely not what i want to do for many reasons and if it gets to that point i will make a video as to why acid reflux y'all this symptom is the <laughs> worst by far out of all the symptoms i could eat anything i could drink anything water whatever you know things that used to help me before with my acid reflux like sweet potato forget about it i'm still having acid reflux i've just given up on that and just ate in what i can and try to eat a lot of fruits and veggies which i know fruits are acidic most of the time and yada yada it is what it is at this point i'm like okay the hormones are causing the acid reflux and i'm just gonna have to deal and it'll be okay <laughs> okay so i want to show you my bump okay so this is whoop it's the 18 week bump we're gonna do this because i feel like i have to talk about the fact that i really just feel like i'm fat <laughs> like it's so hard for me to feel actually pregnant I know that like, okay y'all, fat rolls, fat up here, look, <laughs> when I lean over, it literally is just two fat rolls, you guys. Can you see why I'm just, have a hard time just not feeling like I'm bonding yet because I don't feel like I have a belly yet. It's like, I can definitely cup it to make it look like I am pregnant, but looking at the uh <laughs> the realness the rawness here uh you know just kind of look chubby so anyways if you've been pregnant before drop a comment below let me know what your experiences are i would love any advice towards that end or if you're pregnant right now let me know how many weeks along you are and what your due date is what your symptoms are i'd love to chat if you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Like this video for me. Before we close this out, I am going to show you just a couple things that I recently got for baby that I am super excited about. So for Memorial Day, we went down to Alabama and we visited some shops where there's just like a lot of like homemade stuff. And look, look at these moccasins. I cannot even explain to you how soft they are on the inside. The bow comes off, it just keeps the shoes together, okay? But they are completely stitched all the way around. I actually met the lady, she walked into the store. I met the lady who makes these, like hand stitches these. It was so cool. And with our baby being born in November, I more than likely will get plenty of use out of these little things. Again, the bow comes off, so they'll just be the plain brown. And I just love them so much. <laughs> They're one of my favorite baby items I've gotten so far. You guys, I have loved the Nugget Comfort Company ever since I started watching Lex Fitzgerald on YouTube. She got one like before they were really popular and she recommended it. And this was like over a year ago before I even got pregnant. So I had been trying to get my hands on one through giveaways all the time on my Instagram. And then when we found out we were pregnant, I was like, we've got to get a nugget. So we got one and I'm gonna show it to you guys. It still takes like eight weeks from order placing to actually getting it, eight to 10 weeks. We waited a long time for this nugget. So this is just one of the pillows, but oh, I can't believe I have one of these. So this is just like one of their pillows. I have the whole thing over here. Let me show you. Ah, the whole thing. 
so it's kind of a little bit big for baby's room more than likely once we actually move baby in here i'm going to be taking this out don't ask me where i'm going to put it because i do not know i do not know i don't know so i might put it somewhere in the living room but if you watched our vlogs before you know that we have a tiny tiny house so <laughs> and then the last thing i want to show you my future sister-in-law actually got this for me and oh my gosh if you don't know we call our baby little deer because our last name is stags and stag is another name for a deer and we like hunting so it just fit you guys look at it look at it it's so cute it's a rattle and like a teether and it's handmade and it's non-toxic and it's was bought from an Etsy shop, so it is just, it's beautiful, you guys. That's all I'm gonna show you for today. I plan to do an official nursery tour once I've got everything in towards the end of my pregnancy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.